So hi dear Taurus, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a journal of reading for all the Taurus Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from today till the 8th of October. And this reading is valid for every 12th sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. So let's start honey Taurus. The person that you are in no contact with their current feelings for you right now at this present moment. Let's see Taurus. We have the Fool card, the Ace of Wands, the Lover. Someone is dying to have a brand new beginning with you. Someone who is very, very attracted to you right now. To be honest with you guys, uh, uh, Taurus, this is not a love kind of attraction, to be honest with you guys. Someone around you who is in no contact with you right now, at this present moment, wants you sexually. Physically, they are very much attracted to you. It could be very much possible that this person is having somebody else in, in their life. Still, they feel like connecting with you because they can't resist you, can't resist your beauty or the kind of person you are. They feel like uh, indulging with you physically or sexually only at this present moment. Very attracted to you. Now, it could be possible that they know that you have somebody else in your life. Still, they feel like coming towards you and they don't mind uh, creating this third party kind of scenario between you and them. And it's a very toxic energy unhealthy kind of energy i should not call it toxic actually toxic is a huge word unhealthy kind of attraction that uh, somebody knows that uh, they can't have you or there's some kind of obstacles but they still feel like a strong pull a strong attention uh, attraction towards you and they can't resist it this is what they feel and they feel like you're an independent person you're a very strong very strong person and you got your shit together so this is the attracting them more and more towards you can you can you hear the voice of my wind chime wow this is beautiful i'm loving it anyway so this is this is uh, the feelings for uh, from this person's side towards you now let's see the intentions universe please guide me what are the intention of the person that uh, taurus is in no contact with their intentions for you right now at this present moment this is for those who are in complete complete no contact like there's not a slight uh, message from each other or somebody who keeps on ghosting you again and again but messages exchange communication is not proper queen of wands two of uh, uh, pentacles the star cards okay <laughs> okay they know they know this is unhealthy kind of attraction unhealthy kind of attachment and to be honest with you guys this person wants to focus on themselves right now they don't want to like have this on and off in and out kind of game with you they don't want to confuse the shit out of you they don't want to confuse themselves with this attraction with this pull towards you they want to heal themselves and they want to remain positive and hopeful that someday this attraction is going to like go away and both of you are going to be like uh, just a friend kind of energy or both of you are going to be in a a uh, casual kind of energy this is very good their their feelings towards you are very intense sexually like intense and uh, their intention towards you is not to confuse you and themselves with this attraction as love so that is why they want to focus on themselves right now and they just want to remain uh, hopeful and positive that someday everything is going to be fine between you guys right now at this present moment i think this person is choosing to keep moving on to to keep walking away from you because I told you there's something that's that's not good that's not uh, happy about the situation that's not making sense to me as well so that is why this person on the practical level is choosing to like uh, move on moving on only very very good very good energy to be honest with you guys let's see I do see on and off communication happening but I don't see uh, things going ahead uh, yeah Let's see uh, what action is this person going to take towards you, if any. Might be their action is going to prove me wrong. Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Tempest. Very good. This person wants to take things really very, very slow. And they want to act very patiently in the situation. You might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or a Sagittarius. So it doesn't matter what sign you are dealing with. But uh, the energies are telling me this person wants to remove this heavy and burdensome kind of energy that you guys are experiencing in the situation especially that person towards you so the, so they want to take things very very slow they want to be patient with you this person wants to collaborate with you it's not like they want they don't want you in their life anymore it's not like that they do want you in their life but at the same time they do want to remove this uh, stressful kind of energy of uh, getting attracted to you so much that they can't resist it right 
so they want patience they want time slow and steady is going to win the race according to them so i don't see them taking any kind of action like uh, regarding this situation like coming towards you rushing towards you or this uh, this kind of energy nope i do see them slow and steady coming towards you it's going to take them time okay okay see right now they are choosing uh, silence you might, might be dealing with a virgo uh, right now they are just going inside and asking themselves uh, that uh, is this the right thing to do and they are getting the answer yes take it slow calm down your horses right let's see the guidance for you guys taurus for the situation now it's not possible that it is going to match with every taurus out there but for most of you this is happening hmm. we have the knight of wands the 10 of swords and the page of cups for you do not act in passion hmm if you are trying to find love taurus do not act in passionate or attraction kind of or infatuation kind of energies only if you are okay with that kind of energies that's completely up to you but if you are trying to find love you have to understand the real meaning of love the true definition of love right now you might be feeling lonely or sad or depressed or you might be feeling like uh actually 90% of people feel lonely even if they are with somebody else if, even if they are uh, being with someone and uh, the medicine for loneliness is not other person it's you connecting with yourself and it's a spiritual thing i understand most of you might not understand that on a spiritual level okay because you might think like i'm giving you lecture <laughs> but the truth is that the more you are going to act on attractions infatuations and just for fun kind of things the more you are going to feel empty so what you have to do start loving yourself start taking care of yourself start giving that love that you have uh, for everyone uh, like for people in general might be a specific person in general start giving that love to like people or situations that need it hmm? start helping people start connecting with more people start uh, creating beautiful kind of energies around you so that uh, uh, you can attract these kind of people true love is that unconditional no boundaries no expectation that is true love Oh yeah. <laughs> so don't uh, operate in any kind of infatuation or attraction. If you want true love, be the true love first. One love. Okay. Anyway, so thank you so much for tuning in, Taurus. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.